Yeah, you keep the beat, you keep the beat. Here we go. Tony Abbott, I want your hard body next to mine, but I can't have it. And it's driving me crazy. And I never felt this way about anyone. In a position of power, not a Catholic liberal leader anyway. So put your bright red speedos on. You've got my vote. Ah, go sink some boats. You put your bright red speedos on. Dance like the man on the Mardi Gras float. It's good news. Welcome to Good News Week, and the big news, two weeks into March, and it's already the year of natural disasters. Fires, floods, cyclones, tsunamis, earthquakes, and now a nuclear meltdown. Each one worse than the last. Prime Minister Gillard has promised to send Japan all the help they need, which is great, unless she sends the Australian Navy. <laughs> what a bloody mess. Our warships are falling apart, our helicopters don't have weapons, and our submarines can't go underwater. <laughs> but don't worry, they have a plan to plug the gap in our defences. A high-speed passenger ferry. <laughs> because if there's one thing that screams military precision, efficiency, and well-maintained equipment, it's Australian public transport. <laughs> Well, compared to the Australian Navy, anyway. <laughs> so, any of you who've planned a nice day trip on Sydney Harbour, tough. You're going to Libya. <laughs> After all, nothing says covert beach landing like... Ha! <laughs> hey! <laughs> this way we can still send in a decent ship to repel invaders just as soon as the ferry comes to a complete stop. <laughs> and it means, if you do want to join, you don't have to sign up for three years. You can just get a weekly pass. <laughs> the last time things were this bad, the Navy had to hire a catamaran to get troops to East Timor. This time, if they can't get a ferry and the catamaran's not available, they're looking at a fleet of pedal boats at five bucks for half an hour. <laughs> They're also thinking of equipping cruise liners with weapons. Fastar, the gunship! <laughs> Recently, the Australian Navy had no submarines and just two of its 28 other major ships fully operational. Two. So it's an excellent time to join if you really don't like the ocean. <laughs> some, of, <laughs> some of our ships are so dodgy and leaky, several prominent people smugglers have offered to buy them. <laughs> No wonder we're so scared of asylum seekers. At this point, 30 starving refugees on boogie boards could take us. <laughs> the good news is a Navy spokesman has angrily denied they're buying a ferry, though he did say the word frigate several times. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening tonight with our desks packed and our CVs ready. The Femme Fatale, Claire Hooper. Still on his never-ending tour of Australia with the life of Akmal, the never-ending Akmal Sali. And she's one half of the Dresden Dolls. She has a new album called Amanda Palmer Goes Down Under and spends so much time here, I think we can start calling her our Amanda, Amanda Palmer. And they're in a world of pain with the evil genius, Mikey Robbins. 
She's showing at a gallery in Melbourne with a tiny exhibition of shiny things. She's coming to the festival, the comedy festival, with a new show, The Great Intender, and she is the queen of all footwear, the tray chic, Cal Wilson. <laughs> and from Team Vodafone, the 2010 V8 Supercars Team of the Year. He's currently leading the championship. He's fast, but not too furious, Jamie Wincup. <laughs> Uh, Jamie, first time on the show. Good news week, Virgin. I yeah, am today. <laughs> Feel good though. Right? It's amazing, most virgins do. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna feel really dirty after the show, though. Yeah. <laughs> because Akmal will never call you again. <laughs> so I, I'm sure everyone wants to know what's it like driving cars real fast, eh? It's good, good. Yeah, we, we kicked off a couple of weeks ago, so we're uh, championship started. Got Adelaide this weekend, so it's. Uh, it's all about to happen real quick. What's it like, you know, spending hours driving precise, incredibly fast, and yet you're still in Adelaide? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a question as well. So you're with Team Vodafone. So does that mean that your car disappears and then comes back? And then disappears and then comes back? <laughs> oh, hello, oh, it's good. Come on, fella. Come on, come back at the comedians. Oof. You know what you can do after the show, you can run them over. Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you allowed to have a mobile in your car? I oh, know you couldn't know. Yeah. It's the idea of you going around texting while you're doing it. Just... Yeah. No, you shouldn't text behind the wheel. But no, the phone works. Call my mum halfway. <laughs> yeah. That's before we get dizzy. We to go round and round that many times. Do you really get dizzy? Yeah, well, that's, that's what it's all about. Who gets the least dizziest and doesn't crash? <laughs> it's generally the winner. <laughs> If you get pulled over, you know how they do random breath tests and stuff? If you, if you ever get pulled over, are the cops always making jokes like, oh, I thought you'd be going a bit faster than this, eh? It's just, they... it's just like, mate, you should know better. That's the end of that. <laughs> so that has happened a fair bit, has it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, generally, Colin uh, around my area is pretty good. He lets me off. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's good to know for everyone out there. <laughs> How are you, Cal? I'm good, I'm yeah. good. Shiny things? So I'm doing a show at the Melbourne Festival, it's called The Great Intender, and it's about procrastination. So, in order to not write that, I've put an exhibition on at the Footscray Community <laughs> Arts Centre, which is just, I, I have a little bit of a glue gun fetish, and it's just kind of gluing... You know the toys from Toy Story that are all screwed up? That mm. It's kind of like that, but with more Christmas decorations. Oh. It's, kind of, it's sort of gluing shit to shit. And <laughs> And here's Amanda's new CD. Amanda Palmer Goes Down Under. It's funny, uh, it's funny that your CD cover features a pair of underwear because right as we were meant to come on stage, you just suddenly turned around and went, I forgot my underwear, and ran away. <laughs> Looks like, maybe we should move on and talk about this later, right? <clears throat> Actually, seriously, journalists have asked me if that's me or if I got a, a belly double for the cover of the CD, but no, that is my belly. I was in shape that week, I ate salads. Mm. <laughs> and, uh, so you could have got me. It's beautiful. Here you go. <laughs> More nipples. They are tiny nipples, aren't they? They're very tiny, yes, but they work. <laughs> they do work. Yes. <laughs> Once picture, one sound. <laughs> Let's do it. Our first romp is What's the Story? One big event from the week, team versus team. Most complete answer takes the points. Players, get hot! Oh, OK, that? that's that a, a panda. Is it? Skippy, but I don't know. Bit. And that's... Oh, she's from Vienna Zoo, so she's... She is a... She is a Viennese. Oh, ba boo ba ba tasty <laughs> Anybody, anybody, anybody? Have a Cal! Did a, perhaps a panda at Adelaide get pregnant to an Austrian backpacker? <laughs> It's happened before. Jamie, have you, have you got any theories on this one? Yeah, I, I heard a story about a, a, the, um, I don't think, I think it was in a Thai zoo that they brought in an expert. Um, the, the male panda couldn't get it happening. He couldn't yeah. get any action going on. So they brought in panda porn to get the situation <laughs> happening. Mind you, just, it just looks like two black and white bean bags having a crack. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, no, here's my theory. This is why they are almost extinct. Who's the last person on earth you want to shag? Someone who looks exactly like you. <laughs> I, uh, I disagree with that entirely. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Woohoo, 
Tools of the Narcissist. Come on. Well, this, uh, this woman for, is from Austria, actually, and she's an expert on getting, uh, you know, mammals to, to mate if they're not wanting to mate. And I would love to see her come to my house. <laughs> and I would invite the Channel 10 news crew and, and tourists can take photos. <laughs> I don't really mind. But I think the real reason they don't want to have kids, these pandas, is because they don't want to bring up a child in Adelaide. <laughs> <laughs> One last bit. Thank you, Akmal Sali. Ten points there, seven points over here, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, close. <laughs> in very exciting news, Adelaide Zoo has brought in a panda expert from Vienna to advise its staff on caring for cubs. Vienna Zoo has welcomed two baby pandas in the past four years. At this rate, they could reach plague proportions by the year 4050. <laughs> Although one of the... <laughs> oh, that'd oh. cause pandemonium. Pandem <laughs> <laughs> Although one of the cubs was later found out to be a very fat penguin with an afro. <laughs> 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 I so want to party with that penguin. <laughs> Imagine if that happens in 2040 and they become a pest and you have to ring, like, you know, panda control. <laughs> yeah, got pandas all over the house. <laughs> it's all right, we'll spray them and get rid of them. <laughs> you know, a few years ago, they were extinct. Bullshit. <laughs> well, hey, mate, so the problem is, for, for every one panda you see, there's ten you don't. Yeah. <laughs> Down the back of the fridge, in the garage. <laughs> Evelyn has some unorthodox techniques. For a start, she's having the pandas waxed. <laughs> she's also instructing the rest of some creatures in the subtle art of poor play. <laughs> Hang on. They're planning to... What? Wouldn't a waxed panda just look, look like Joe Hockey? Oh. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Plus, they're planning to rename Wang Wang, Wang Wang Wang, in the belief that if ever an extra Wang was needed, it's now. <laughs> and the signs are good. Keepers believe Funi is reaching adolescence. They know this because she started locking herself in her room and wearing far too much eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> so after one black and white round of Good News Week, the Hooper team are on 10 points and the Robins team are on 7 points. Coming up... More ratings go. It's good news week. During the break, as we slash the price of our milk, both teams were given six clues to one strange but true story. The clues are a hottie. <laughs> Do you want to play a guessing game, Paul? Yes, I've got it. The Red Queen wants her Joker back. <laughs> Can you guess, inside this hot water bottle, what finger gesture I'm making? <laughs> it's very, it's very 80s with the big shoulder pads. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's Kajigugu have reformed. <laughs> Thank you, no one over 40. <laughs> looks like an early Doctor Who villain is what you look like. <laughs> He's only wearing it so he doesn't pull out his own stitches. Uh, <laughs> we also have a measuring device. Wow. <laughs> Just with the power of her brain. It's a love tester. <laughs> uh, we also have a gathering storm. Oh. Oh, oh stabby, no. stabby, 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 stabby. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> If you take that lightning bolt and you and you put it over Mikey's face, you, you complete the Lady Gaga ensemble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you put it on his chest, it looks like the flash. Look. <laughs> Are we done yet? It's the hot flash. It's <laughs> clearly he's clearly a woman in her forties. <laughs> We also have a comfort. This is, I love to do this. This is the Turkish delight. You know, my favorite thing is uh, on Anzac Day, I stand there as the parade comes. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Remember this? We also have a warning. I cleaned this up on the way here. <laughs> I don't think that's a prop. I, I think he stole that from the street. <laughs> He just and doesn't know what they are. That's, that's all. right. <laughs> it ended up stuck in my bonnet. <laughs> and finally, we have this. Okay. 
Oh, I'm meant to be. Can I be? Where, where am I? Yeah, I yeah. need you to have that ready. Okay. Sure. I see your true colors shining through. I see your true colors, and that's why I love you. So don't be afraid to let them show your true colors are beautiful. More of that mystery at the end of the show. Now our stars take on the clock in Newsflash. All set? Yes, son. Anyone can hop in any time. In New York, a thief broke into an apartment and ignored the jewellery and electrical goods, but did walk off with a valuable piece of equipment. <laughs> what did he take? Um, the burglar alarm. <laughs> uh, Paul, I'm here. Carl's got it. Oh, was it a breast pump? No, different story. <laughs> <laughs> Something significant. Oh, that's right. He took the toilet. Thank you very much, Admiral Hazard. Took the toilet, was arrested the next day. Oh, I... was he on the run? <laughs> <laughs> was it a really fancy toilet? I have no idea about the nature of the toilet. I don't know. No, no. Could have been one of those highfalutin ones that cleans you off. Oh, have you ever had a go at them? Yes. When the arm comes out and... Oh, it's nice. <laughs> I proposed. And then the little... <laughs> In Western Australia, a church is trying to attract new parishioners with a special deal. What is it? Everyone goes to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> what a novel concept. In Western Australia, a church is trying to attract new parishioners with a special deal. It's a uh, deal. Uh, yes. Uh, priests won't touch your children. <laughs> they promise. <laughs> uh, convert two, get one free. <laughs> It's a bit of a gift, they're giving a gift away. Oh, you get, you get an ab flex, one of the ab kings. <laughs> Look exactly like Jesus when he was on the cross. <laughs> the, the perfect, so you too can have the body of Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Mikey Robbins, the best show you've ever had. I'm going to give you another two points. No, give him the Holy Trinity. <laughs> New person, a special deal, anybody? Special no. Deal. Car? No. Get a car? You can Very get close. A, uh, you get a car, you get a motor scooter. You get a fridge. Yeah, no. Oh, I'm going to give you one point. IPod, they get car. an iPod. You can uh, have a, free, a 10 minute is, conversation with God. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting a bit embarrassing now. Um, free oil change and car wash. Oh. Police are searching for a woman who went on a rampage in a shop in Cardiff, smashing display cabinets and attacking staff. What was her problem? She, Cal couldn't, she couldn't get the cupcake that she wanted. So Thank she you very much. <laughs> <laughs> She went completely insane and she punched the woman. She punched the owner in the top of the leg and swore at her and she had two little boys with her and apparently one of them was going, Mummy, Mummy, stop. And the other one was going, Arr, Arr, on the bench as well. Oh, so yeah. she's already raising the next generation of cupcake anger. I've got, I've got one like Mikey. I guess she got her just desserts. <laughs> Does anyone know her particular favourite type of cake? Oh, oh it was something like oh, I don't know, honey, button, honey button tea cake or something like that. Do you know her favourite cake, Paul? Yes, it's... Uh, Sweet Tooth Fairy Cake. <laughs> Sweet Tooth Fairy Cake. That used to, that used to be your drag name. Yes. <laughs> 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 I'm back! I'm back! I'm back! And it's showing, it's showing in, the, in the points, ladies and gentlemen. It's showing in the points. Hooper team now on a miserable 20 points. Sounds all right to me. Thanks right. to the work of Mikey Robbins, the Robbins team on 21 points. Yes. Coming up... Senseless violence. This is a new thing we call little pricks. The aim of the game is to, <laughs> is to be the first to identify the famous faces hidden behind the balloons. Get a question right, you throw a dart and have a guess. Amanda and Jamie, are you ready to throw? Do you understand the rules of the game? Oh. Yeah, yeah, stuff it. Who cares? I think, I think more importantly, Paul, do you understand the rules of the game? <laughs> I have a dart I don't even have to throw. Look at that. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's dangerous. What's the most you can score on a dartboard with a single throw? Uh, 100. 
Fifteen. <laughs> you must have some funny dark boards where you come from. I'll try sixty. Sixty. Thank you very much. Woo! Triple twenty. That's right. <laughs> Child, or it's definitely a girl. They're, can you, can people in the audience not join in the game? <laughs> it really isn't a pub, even though this seems to be like a pub yeah. game. Okay. okay. After I've hit him in the head, he's looking a bit pale. Okay, that's that's good. We've got uh, one. Which American billionaire is tipped to make a run for president? Bill he's Hicks. got good hair. He's got good hair. Uh, Donald Trump. Thank you very much, oh. Jamie. <laughs> Have another crack. Yeah, There's yeah. nothing under there. That's uh... That whole thing is blank, is it? Throw it now! Throw it now! Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're keeping moving. Which actress was previously married to Hollywood hunk? Ryan Reynolds. Which actress Scar was previously... Scarlett Johansson! Scarlett Johansson! Scar 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 Thank you very much! <laughs> Throw one! Whoa! Ooh. Two and one! Two and one! Two and one! Very nice. Uh, can you tell who that is? I have no clue. Okay, we no, move on. It would be funny if, if the, the, all the balloons went and it was just pictures of all those balloons. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who is the only Australian in Formula One racing? Mark Webber. Thank you very much. Have another crack. <laughs> oh. oh, yes, Liz. <laughs> is it Julian Assange? Yes, it is Julian Assange. Oh. really know that. Someone leaked that information. <laughs> <laughs> Which Madonna song has been most recently ripped off by Lady Gaga? Express yourself. Thank you very much, Amanda Palmer. Have another crack. Whoa. Yes, Handy with that uh, dart there. Who hosted the Oscars? Thank you. One each. One dart each. Oh. Oh. It's Tina Fey. That's oh. uh, it's a, it's ah, who is it? Who is oh. it? That's the important part. Is Harry Potter. I really hope. I hope we have a camera from this angle because all of you sticky beaks back there look funny. <laughs> <laughs> How many players are there in a netball team? What's netball? Uh. <laughs> Seven. 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 He's got it again, ladies and gentlemen. Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, oh, Whoa. Hey. Oh, hang on, anybody? Anybody? Is anybody? Is it, She's oh, still little, pale. Oh, little chubby kid. <laughs> Who wrote the books? Stardust. Coraline. <laughs> Coraline. Oh, That's Coraline, my husband. Is it? Damn it. <laughs> Who wrote the book? Stardust. Coraline and Mirror Mask. <laughs> Neil Gaiman. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have a crack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who is it? Who is it? Oh shit, I know I know this one. It's not you, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> no. I uh, should mention these are photographs when they're young. Oh, uh, uh, is, it, is it Justin Bieber's dad? <laughs> that's not Bert Newton at the top. No, oh, that's not. No, that's a girl. Charlie Sheen! Charlie Sheen! Thank Sheen. you very much, he has it. Claire Hooper has it. Yeah, take that little balloon. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, don't pop like a normal balloon, you freak. Take it, you freak. Let the air out slowly. Ah, shrink. Become nothing. Ah. Is, that, is, that, is that Julia Gillard in the Thank you very much. Oh. You know, it does look a bit goddamn savage to have uh, darts in the head of a five-year-old child, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, we're getting very close. Only one face to go now. Actor Chris Evans is starring in the new movie about which iconic American superhero? Superman. <laughs> Batman. When Captain America throws his mighty shield. <laughs> Captain America. Thank you very much. Have a go. Who 
is that woman? Sarah Palin. Thank you very much, oh. Michael Yardley. Oh. After the break, the five second grab. This is Five Second Grab. Can our stars identify the stories from my enticing morsels? Teams, jump in. No waiting. First grab. It's big. It's red. It says Paris, and oh, it's freaking delicious. Paris, 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 Paris is cake. A guy... Uh, gate crashed. He gate crashed. He gate crashed at Paris Hilton's 30th birthday party and nicked her birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Any more? Anything else to the story? But if, if, if Paris is 30, doesn't that make her, like, 67 in skank years? <laughs> There's another bit to the story that's very interesting. Uh, they found her underpants inside the couch. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't breathing anymore inside the couch. It was like $2,000 or something. $3,200 the cake was worth. Does anyone know what happened to it? I think he took it to the homeless. <gasps> You've got it, Jamie. Thank you very much. Rocky will enhance your indoor-outdoor flow considerably, especially if you load him in through the garage roof. <laughs> this is from the Christchurch... Christchurch earthquake and a boulder rolled down a hill and landed in a guy's house. No one was killed, but so he landed in his house and so he put it on Trade Me, which is New Zealand's version of eBay, to try and sell it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and the money is going to? Hopefully the Red Cross. The earthquake appeal. What do you think Rocky will enhance you? I thought it was just like Sylvester Stallone's getting into maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, he's been into maintenance for years. <laughs> A poll found 32% think it's unclear where he was born. Oh, over here. Among those Obama. Obama. Hey, yeah, Obama. Obama. No, Obama. Amanda said it. She just said Amanda's it quietly. <laughs> I'll give you two. I'll give you three points each on that one, I think. <laughs> right, just to finish that off, a poll found 32% think it's unclear where he's born, uh, but among those who watched Fox News every day, it's up to 63%. 63% yeah, don't but know 80 where But 80% of people who watch Fox News think it's news about foxes. <laughs> <laughs> if only it was, mate. If only it was. <laughs> the animals really hold a grudge. They'll often come back to your yard, push over pot plants, is... and tear leaves off bushes. What's it this about? This is about when you try and get rid of the possums and they come back angry. <laughs> That's it? Yeah, we can get... They're vindictive little creature. So it's like a little tiny West Side Story, but with possums. Yeah. Like, it... oh, the possums are here. Do you, you know what the possums are? Oh. We have possums in the States. Yeah, but you call them but Mexicans. They... <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <What? laughs> what? 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 what do you even mean? Don't look for uh, any meaning. <laughs> because it'll only hurt your brain. It's a bit that's got all my, uh, Charlie Sheen now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, our possums are very cute from a distance, but once they get in your roof, they can really cause havoc. Mm. Wade's scared of them. One got in the roof above the toilet and he was afraid to go and do poos. <laughs> do you have to go down and watch the park? To... There's a toilet he had to the go. Park. He had to go and hide in someone else's roof and then poo into their house the way the possums yeah. are doing in Claire's house. <laughs> So we had to put pellets down to get uh, Claire's husband out of the roof. <laughs> Doctors are reporting an increase in screen-related facial corrugation. Does it have something to do with Claire's husband? Uh, <laughs> people are getting wrinkles looking at their computer screens. Oh, no, uh, uh, mobile phones. Thank you very much, oh. mobile phones it is. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 It's more for people over 40 trying to use an iPhone. <laughs> Yeah, laugh now, kids. <laughs> One day you'll wake up and your scrotum will be down between your knees. It's even worse if you're a guy. <laughs> According to a top cosmetic surgeon, young women are developing premature wrinkles from staring at their smartphones. Turns out your iPhone is eye-fucking up your eye face. <laughs> Dr Jean-Louis Sabage says, peering... And a small screen creates an area of tension around and between the brows. And if you do it while driving, it can create an area of tension around and between your caved-in skull. <laughs> but it's not all bad. If you use your smartphone all the time, you'll eventually have enough loose skin to make a smart leather cover for it. <laughs> Sadly, 
Not only are people getting wrinkles, there's also eye grain, the tension headache you get from dropping your phone into the toilet when there's still 20 months left on the contract. <laughs> And Spackberry, the facial twitch that results from receiving a $600 bill on a $49 plan. <laughs> Over there now, 54 points. Over there, 46 points. I'm sorry, Tony, I feel a bit bad about this because clearly you've had some sort of mental or emotional breakdown over this issue. And I find this morally reprehensible. But still, we'll be back after the break. <laughs> Keep rocking. This is the game called Speed Dating. I have three clues to the identity of a bunch of people in the news. All our players have to do is work out who those newsmakers are. They're competing against the clock and against each other for maximum points. All ready? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Team captains, go. Okay, okay. No, Team captains, go. <laughs> Team captains, go. <laughs> Willie. Oh, um, what's the name? William, uh, William. Yeah, William. Yeah, uh, Prince William. Penis. No. <laughs> Pirate. Willie Pirate. Willie Pirate. Johnny Depp. Thank you very much. He's got it. <laughs> Surgery. Uh, Surgery. Surgery. No, uh, thank you. So it's a person, right? Yeah. Yeah, I should have asked about that game before. Yeah, that's right. So it's a person. Yeah. yeah. Surgery. Surgery. Um, Dr. Dr. Patel. No. <laughs> Surgery. Oh, that's not a bad guess. It's good. It's, it's very good. Guess. I like that one. Uh, Surgery. Dead. Dead. Undead. Surgery, dead, undead. A zombie who's featured in the news recently? Ah, uh, very close, very close. This could give you a hint. <laughs> uh, Michael Jackson. Thank you very much, he's got it. Yeah. Michael Jackson. <laughs> Bling. Uh, Bling. 50 Cent. Oh, close. <laughs> Booty. Uh, Beyonce. Thank you very much for the oh. shout out there. <laughs> Don't even give the team a crack at it. <laughs> Hung. Me. <laughs> Light back. Cashew. <laughs> hat. Hung hat. Hung hat. Hung hat. Hung hat. I went there for lunch yesterday. Fantastic place. <laughs> bananas. Hung hat bananas. Hung hat bananas. <laughs> and the law one. Um, hung hat bananas. Hung hat, hung ba hat bananas. Hung hat bananas. Hung hat bananas. One of the independents. Yes. Oh, Bob Catter. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mm, it's nice, yeah. isn't it? It's nice. It was like a you know, primary school game. Then we go to play lunch after this. <laughs> oil. Uh, oil. 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 Spill? <laughs> oh no, it's a person. That is a... <laughs> it's, just, it's the way you learn that I find fascinating. <laughs> no. I learn gradually. <laughs> gradually. School. Oil. School. 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 Oil. Did you just go straight to play lunch? <laughs> yeah. Oil, school, chrome dome. What oh, oh uh, something to do with uh, Peter Garrett. It is Peter Garrett. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so gay, I cry sequins. <laughs> <laughs> That's not part of that the game. Like, uh, uh, Adam Lambert? No, oh, very close, very close. I'm sure he does as well. <laughs> so I might not be confined to this fella. So gay, I cry sequins. Elton John. Elton John. Oh, yeah. Elton John. Yeah! <laughs> Hey, sadly, thanks for clapping, everyone, but it's not Elton John. Oh. Oh, thanks for you. <laughs> so gay, sense. I... You idiots! <laughs> so gay, I cry sequins. Hitler. Galliano! I heard it from Claire first, so I'm going with Claire. <laughs> Galliano! I can't go out, of course, yes. Bible. 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 Sauerkraut. Bible, sauerkraut, hat. The Pope! Thank you very much. Yes. They're doing it. Nerd, nerd. This is just like Tourette syndrome. Nerd. Nerd. It's me, nerd. Yeah, Cal Wilson. <laughs> Sweden. Julian Assange. Thank you very much. <laughs> ah. Virgin. Justin Bieber. Prayer. Madonna. Uh, Madonna. 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 Yes, Madonna. Thank you very much, Amanda. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's a okay. Yes, okay. I'm crawling you now. Red carpet. Red carpet. <laughs> yes. Um, Lady Gaga. 
No. I don't have the way. Red carpet. No. Joan Rivers. No. Brian Seacrest. Red carpet. Oh. Julian Gillard. No. Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, that's that's good. Red carpet animal. Red carpet animal. Rob. Oh, oh, Jackie Weaver. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, come on, no. we're almost there. Drunk. Asthma. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk. Arrested. Charlie Sheen. Oh, no, Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera. Yes, Christina Aguilera. ladies have it. Christina Aguilera. <laughs> Wine, loaf, fish. Wine, loaf, fish. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you one for that too, Amanda. Thank you. Uh, Jesus. Stay in, stay yeah, in. Stay, stay. Waratah. Waratah. What? I'm going to give all these to you. Waratah. What is that? Pouch. The kangaroo. Thank you, Skippy. I'm going to give it to you just because yeah! you're... Yeah! Last one, handsome. What? Hilarious. Paul McDermott. Thank you, you oh. got it. Oh. It's over. The world is up to its crack pipe in great celebrities at the moment, but this fella is our favourite. At a wildlife park in the UK, a gorilla named Ambam, <laughs> good looking fella, has become a YouTube sensation for walking around on his hind legs like a human. That's him going off the toilet, that's the paper under his, uh, under his army. <laughs> it's very impressive, but it's not exactly drumming along with Phil Collins, is it? <laughs> Ambam is famous worldwide and he's done little more than learn how to walk. He's essentially a hairy Cardassian sister. <laughs> But the great ape doesn't see what the big deal is. As far as he's concerned, his real strength is poetry. <laughs> <laughs> and they said it wouldn't work. That's a beautiful joke. It's a beautiful joke. All gorillas can balance on their legs to some degree, but in the wild, most primates don't walk upright for one simple reason. They're too busy masturbating. <laughs> You like that, Jamie? You like that? Yeah, I did like that. Uh, them now, ladies and <laughs> <laughs> Them now on 57 points, ladies and gentlemen. Them on 65 points. Strange But True is next. <laughs> uh, time tonight in the noose on Strange But True. The clues were the hot water bottle. <laughs> Okay, promise me that won't happen again. Hey, that will never happen once more again. <laughs> Uh, we also have the thermometer. Whoa! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh! Do you ever get the feeling we're doing like a curiosity show on acid? <laughs> we also have the beautifully handcrafted cloud. It's a bit of a letdown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, back off, Barry! <laughs> <laughs> we've, got, we've got the comfort, the chocolate. The we've chocolate the we comfort. have, the comfort well, food. One of them was already open. Yeah. <laughs> we also have the uh, the stop sign. Oh, it's me. Stop. Don't do it. Don't do it. Sorry. And finally, this Amanda Palmer, ladies and gentlemen.
Uh, can we put it together? What were all the clues? Is this the story about the scientist that's come up with one of those wristbands that you put on a woman and when it changes colour, it tells you that it's danger, danger, Will Robinson. She's got a period. Do not approach. Yeah. <laughs> if somebody needs a wristband for you to be able to tell, then they're not one of the people that you have to worry yeah. about, the yeah. PMT. Yeah, like, because there's always a sign. Because yeah, it, it's not the colour of the wristband, it's how quickly it's flying towards your face. Yeah. <laughs> she snaps you in the face. Well, you know, the, the, the fascinating thing for me is, is when women um, can synchronise it. I mean, that, that's a revolution right there. You know, you know and it, it sounds like an Olympic sport, synchronised period. And, and, you know, and it, it doesn't may, happen in a pool, my no, friend. It, well, no, it just... Because, like, guys don't do that. You never see guys synchronising their erections. You know? Oh! I tell a lie. I tell a lie. It did, it did happen once. It did happen once. We're on, uh, we're on the comedy festival roadshow, and, uh, and it's in being in a car. No, no, I, I won't mention any names, but uh, let's make, give them fake names. Charlie Pickering and, uh, and Justin Hamilton, and we were going to Albany, and nothing was said. We were just checking, and we're going, oh, you've got one. Oh. Okay, and we got out, and, it, and we looked like the, you know, the, the synchronised direction Olympic team. And I had to go out first, being the flag bearer. I had to. <laughs> I can't help but notice that uh, Jamie has been very silent during this entire... Yeah. <laughs> I haven't said anything at all. Everyone else is having a go here and a crack at it. You spend a lot of time in the car, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, actually, seriously, in a long race, do, do, you, do, do you ever do you ever chub up with a no. big engine under you? <laughs> yeah, you sit there, you're rattling away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At any stage... Don't feel you have I, to answer this question yeah. at all, Jamie, but the people of Australia want to know. Yeah. <laughs> but didn't we, we, learnt, we learnt on the show, we learnt the term bench fat from the MasterChef people, which bench was when fat. the chefs stand too close to the chopping board and things, the vibration. Is there but, an equivalent car term? There's certainly no. one for... for no. <laughs> <laughs> certainly with a V8, you got, you know, you would have no chance. Yeah. So there's no, there's no V8 supercar term for... For... Correction yeah. or something like yeah. that. No. Oh, at any rate, we call it the club lock. Go <laughs> <laughs> to the steering wheel and you can't turn anymore. <laughs> oh! Yeah. I, think, I love that you mean, no, no, there's not one. Oh, yeah, club lock. Yeah. Club lock. <laughs> <laughs> I should want to hold it back. And when it does, <laughs> well, you would, wouldn't you, mate? <laughs> yeah. I can't go left. I can't go left. <laughs> so back to our story. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 Someone put it in a nutshell. Yeah, 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 Cal, Cal, the, you take it away. A scientist yeah. has come up with a um, like a mood ring, but it's a wristband so that you can tell when a woman is about to. Because uh, of pheromones and pheromones. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so you can go. I'm sorry. Have some nice. <laughs> they have it, ladies and gentlemen. They'll take the ball for the points. I'm going to throw some over there as well. So it's, it's true, a British man has come up with a wristband that alerts men when their wives are suffering from PMT. Carl Dorn got the idea at the pub while chatting to his mates, who were also hiding from their wives at the time. <laughs> uh, if you see the wristband turn red, she's premenstrual. If it uh, turns blue, then she's menstruating. And if you see little shiny dots, she's taken off the wristband and wrapped it around your throat. <laughs> In the house of pain tonight, Claire Huber, Akmal Sali, and Amanda Palmer scored a very tense 67 points. <laughs> Punished by Mikey Robbins, Cal Wilson, and Jamie Wincup on 75 points. Yeah. <laughs> 10.com.au slash GNW is the address to get the podcast, see the extra stuff, or watch some hot panda action. Wang Wang. Thank you, ma'am. So we say. <laughs> so we say in the ferry. You can sail the seven seas and leave you with the good news for the week ahead. Nigella Lawson will be in town signing copies of her new book, Watch Me Lick the Cream Off This Spoon. <laughs> Sydney will host the Coasts and Marine Structures Conference, a great place to mingle with your peers. <laughs> Sunday is Independence Day in Tunisia, when Tunisians celebrate the establishment of the repressive regime they've just overthrown. <laughs> Awkward. And in the Christian calendar, it's St. Joseph's Day. Get someone else's wife pregnant. <laughs>